Tech out, and it's been a little while since I've made a Home Assistant video, um, but today I want to show you guys my Home Assistant setup, how it is currently, as well as how I am using it to work with um, HomeKit, and how I'm using it to run HomeKit and my smart home devices um, using a voice assistant and that kind of thing. So we're going to pop over in to my Home Assistant um, setup here, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm running. I am going to try to link this down in the description below whenever possible. Um, some of these things are on Home Assistant already. Some of these things are on GitHub and you can add them as a repository to Home Assistant. So um, I'm gonna try to share as much as I can with you guys and link as much as I can uh, to you guys um, so you guys can set it up as well if you're looking to do this. Um, so I was running the Home Assistant app strictly and doing everything through there. Um, so these pages right here are kind of set up um, in a way that they lay out better on a smartphone. Um, so that's why they're kind of in one row like this because they are easily scrollable on a small smartphone screen. So that is why they are like that. Um, I am kind of going away from using the Home Assistant app itself unless it's on an Android device. But even then um, I am leaning more toward using uh, uh, Google Home or smart things on Samsung because most of these devices do push over to there as well. Um, so that being said, um, I am using Home Assistant to <coughs> integrate a lot with um, integrate a lot with HomeKit. Um, so I'm going to pop open Home as well here, so you guys can see um, see what that's looking like. Uh, right here is my main page, and I, I went through and I set all this up and categorized all this yesterday. Um, so I spent a bunch of time doing that. I don't know what is. Don't know if that was freaking out, but okay. Um, spent a bunch of time doing this, and you can see here I have all my office stuff, my thermostats. Everything here is running through Home Assistant except for a few things. Um, the thermostat upstairs is having an issue with um, with HomeKit, not HomeKit in it itself, but it's not responding to temperature changes um, when it's connected uh, over the Honeywell servers, um, and that's you know, be it on Home Assistant, Home Kit doesn't matter. So I just added that directly into, um, directly into Home, which is why you can see the downstairs one here, but the upstairs one's not available, um, just because that wasn't working right. So that is um, why that's like that. Nothing to do with Home Assistant, though. That's just the uh, thermostat itself. But all the Hue lights, all these are uh, either Lutron or Hue lights. Um, all the Lutron and Hue stuff is running through Home Assistant to be, uh, to be pushed over and exposed to Home Kit. Um, the garage door here. That does not even support HomeKit, so it's being pushed over through um, HomeKit on Home Assistant. The Ring here, um, I have the Ring live video feed set up. So if you click in here, we've got live video feed from a Ring doorbell. We've got the HomeKit secure video. We've got the person, detect person detection, package detection, um, facial recognition, all that kind of stuff is working. And that is all being run over through scripted. Um, so right here, this is scripted. It is available as a repository add-in for Home Assistant. Um, so you can do that and then you can add in your Ring devices. It does do Ring security devices as well, um, but I'm only using it for the video uh, of, on the doorbell um, because all my other stuff is going to be running through um, the regular integration on Home Assistant. Um, and I'm using the MQTT plugin, um, which is available in the add-in store. I say store, but it's not, you know, they're all free. Um, but the Ring MQTT with video streaming, that's what I am using for the um, for the uh, home alarm. So that is running through this. Um, I'm not using the video streaming portion of this. This does not stream live video. It only does um, recent events. So it'll, it'll stream through um, the last snapshot, uh, similar to this right here. It'll just loop that, that last snapshot so I don't use that for um, Home Assistant or HomeKit because I wanted to be able to see um, live video in HomeKit. And then, of course, a part of HomeKit, it also does support the live um, or the HomeKit secure video. If you're an iCloud Plus uh, member, um, you get the video storage on there. So that does support that. And then, of course, it is also stored uh, with Ring directly. It's two separate things. Um, so that's what I'm using for that. Um, like I said, I am using the scripted for that and then the MQTT. For that, my Q does the garage door. All these other things are just what um, what run all the other devices, the Lutron, 
uh, Castilla, Castilla, however you want to say that. Um, the stuff like HomePods and stuff like that are um, also just directly running through Home because the HomePod setup, of course, is in the Home app. Um, so they are just directly running. I don't know what this thing is doing. Um, but that is just running directly through HomeKit like normal. Um, I'm not using anything special for that. Um, and then of course it does expose to Alexa. Um, it does expose to Alexa. I don't know why this keeps triggering that, but um, it does expose to Alexa from here as well. So you can control all your uh, smart home devices through Alexa. So we've got the, the garage door, the lights, all that kind of stuff is integrated through there as well through Home Assistant. So Home Assistant is the base for everything. And then I've built off of there to add HomeKit and Home uh, and Alexa support and Google Assistant support. Um, so Home HomeKit is the main the main one that everybody uses uh, as an app to control everything. And then you know you can use the Home uh, Home Assistant app as well if you want to. But you do I have made it so Home HomeKit is more uh, feature rich in terms of like the Ring live streaming and stuff like that with with everything. Let me try to get the Home app open again here. Um, so you got that. And then of course, if you go down here to security, you have all your um, events. You can see like up here, uh, what doors were open and closed. Um, this occupied thing right here is based on the uh, information from Home Assistant with the device tracking on uh, Home Assistant's app. Um, so it actually pushes those people over to HomeKit and it shows them as um, as the uh, for the occupied status so it'll show uh, each person that's assigned to like a room um, so like mine is assigned to my room right here so when I'm home it shows that my room is occupied which is pretty cool um, so that works then you have the garage door here you can open and close that you have your home alarm here you can arm and disarm that right here in home uh, home kit and then again you have the front door right there uh, the camera climate control um, you can see your temperatures. I got the temperature from the HomePod, and then you have the temperatures that show from the thermos thermostats themselves as well as the status. Same thing with humidity, um, humidity status, and then the humidity sensor on the HomePod. So everything is working. We've got the different rooms laid out down here. Um, so you can, you know, each device is there. There's nothing down there yet. Um, but everything works just as it should. Very easy to use. Um, I have automation set up, so it's pretty cool. I have it set up if um, any of the smoke detectors, which you guys can't see on, actually you can, um, if we go up here, uh, you go to four sensors right here. So these are all the upstairs ones. And then there are the downstairs ones as well. Um, so you can see all the smoke and CO detectors that are all, you know, a smoke detector is a CO detector. So it, it has each of, their, each of them there. Um, you have your motion. Um, so these two are motion sensors for the ring alarm. They show in motion right here. And then the front door motion is the actual ring doorbell. And then you can see the door status of the doors downstairs. Uh, if we go to garage here, there is a side door in the garage. So you can see that there. Um, of course, there's no doors upstairs. There's no motion sensors upstairs. Um, so there is nothing there but the smoke and CO. But back to the automation. In the automations, I have it set up to if a uh, smoke alarm were to detect smoke. And I have to set these up for the downstairs ones as well. Um, but I just set up the two upstairs right now because it was like three o'clock in the morning. Um, but so if if these were to detect smoke, um, I'll even test the automation. So we'll go ahead and test the automation. My office light just came on. So pretend that it was the smoke alarm detecting smoke. That is on. And then if we go to upstairs, we can see here that the thermostat has turned off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on because it's like 90 degrees outside. Um, so the thermostat turns off. All the lights upstairs that are in HomeKit turn on, and the two kitchen lights downstairs turn on because they're the kitchen's open, so that's like the main part of the house. Um, they turn on to light up downstairs. So if it's nighttime, smoke alarm detects smoke. All the lights turn on so you can see. And the thermostat, the reason I have that turning off is because if there were to be smoke, um, you don't want to be spreading smoke 